A Gold Coast makeup artist has revealed how she creates her gory makeup looks for film and television. Rebecca Allen, 30, told Female that a prosthetic makeup look can take anywhere from half an hour to three hours. It depends entirely on the look. If it's a small wound it's a shorter process, she told Female. If it's a full face and hands, it can take a couple hours or longer and usually more than one artist will be there to help cut down the time the poor actor or stunt double has to sit in the chair. Rebecca's love for makeup started when her sister was running late to her formal and Rebecca ended up doing her makeup in the salon chair while she was getting her hair done. After doing ballet and my own theater makeup for years, when her makeup artist didn't turn up, I confidently agreed to do hers on the salon quickly, Rebecca explained. Her hairdresser said to me, wow you're really good at that, you should be a makeup artist. Um it was like someone had suddenly shown me the light. I suddenly knew exactly what I wanted to do, Simon Bird. Rachel, Blake, Patrick Bramill, Lisa McCoon, Billy Crudup, Alexander England, James Franco, Adam Garcia, Topher Grace, Kellen Lutz, Amy Simons, Eugenia Yuan. Now Rebecca has done the prosthetics and makeup for a variety of actors such as James Franco, Billy Crudup and Lisa McCoon. She has been on multiple film sets as well, including those of Pirates of the Caribbean, Mad Max Fury Road and Thor Ragnarok. I also looked after the stunt doubles for Jason Momoa and Amber Heard on Aquaman, essentially meaning I made their stunt doubles look exactly like them, she said. One of her favorite looks she has completed is a woodland nymph for a photo shoot for a UK magazine that was never released, which she said happens often in the industry. It was inspired by a Midsummer Night's Dream. At the beginning of all facial prosthetics Rebecca takes a live cast of the model, covering their face in silicone and plaster. Bandage. She then fills the live cast with plaster to create a model of the face to ensure that the pieces fit the actor's face exactly. Once the molds are done and the sculpt is complete, the live cast is removed with the help of a release agent and then dunked in water. This is called floating. On this plaster model, the woodland nymph, I covered the plaster in a release agent to allow me to float the clay off later, Rebecca explained. Once this is dry I sculpt the character I want to make, using a clay. For this particular one I used the modeling clay. Shavant NSP. Once I was finished and happy with the character, I gently cut lines into it to split the pieces up so I take a mold of the different pieces, so one for the forehead, one for the cheeks, the nose and the neck and the horns. To float the clay off, she places the entire head into a big tub of water overnight and the next day the clay can gently be taken off the face without ruining the sculpt too much. These pieces are then placed onto small molds taken from the original silicone life cast to allow me to make separate small casts of each part of the sculpt for the face. These are molded in silicone, fiberglass or resin, she continued. Once she has taken a mold of the clay sculpts, she cleans out the clay and fills the molds with a soft silicone. Once these are set they are gently pulled. These are the pieces she applies to the model's face using special glues such as Telesis 5. Each piece has a small edge that is melted away on application to blend into the model's skin, Rebecca said. Areas that have rips or a bad edge are filled with Bondo, a thickener paste to fill these gaps. I then paint the applied pieces to the colors I want using airbrushing and hand painting techniques with alcohol-activated inks. I then style her hair and add finishing touches. This look alone took Rebecca approximately three hours to apply and paint. Rebecca got into prosthetics after she joined the film industry. After doing bridal makeup for a few years, I knew I wanted something more. A different kind of challenge, she said. I approached a family friend who does documentaries, Faramas K. Robber, and he took me on to do makeup for his council shorts and documentaries. He then took her to a Pacific film and TV drinks evening where I met producer Jonathan Schiff who created Australian television shows H20 and Mako Mermaids. He introduced me to his head of makeup, Tess Natoli, an elephant princess who got me in for a day to see how I was and I never left, Rebecca shared. From there I meet other makeup artists who recommended me and suddenly my career had kicked off. To find out more about Rebecca, visit her website here. Tell me where the freaks at.